Hey everyone, I'm John Oden on the development team at Boson Software, and I'm joined today by Andrew Messier, who uh, is also on the development team and leads the group that has created and maintains and improves our Boson NetSim network simulator product. Andrew, thanks for your time today. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Well, tell us a little bit about what is Boson NetSim and, and who can it help? NetSim is a product that gives users uh, hands-on experience configuring uh, the various routing and switching protocols that you need uh, to learn and be familiar with in order to pass your uh, Cisco exam. It uh, is a piece of software that comes packaged up with everything that you need. We have our own uh, proprietary iOS software, so you don't need to manage iOS images. It comes packaged with uh, hundreds of uh, labs written by uh, professional content editors who have decades of experience doing this. And um, yeah, it just provides another, moda uh, another modality for, for learning uh, Cisco networking. Some people learn by watching uh, you know, video trainings or listening to an instructor. Some people learn by studying uh, textbooks such as our courseware and others learn by doing and that's um, provides that uh, experience. I think anyone that has experience around Cisco certifications would agree that uh, that hands-on is really necessary not only for achieving your certification goals but to be a, a good qualified practitioner of Cisco networking technologies, this gives you the ability to get that hands-on experience. That's correct. Which, uh, now there are several different certifications that uh, Cisco has available. Which ones would NetSim be appropriate for? So right now NetSim uh, covers the Cisco uh, CCNA exam, the mm -hmm. Cisco Encore exam, and the Cisco NRC exam. I think one of the things, and we'll get into this a little bit more uh, when we get into a live demo, but our product is a complete learning experience. You know, there's some others out there, but you've, as you mentioned, you'd have to go source a possibly unauthorized version of iOS, and then you don't really have any lab content, but we provide it all in, in one package so that you can begin to learn immediately without having to, to go on a scavenger hunt. That's right. It's it's as easy as uh, opening a web browser now and you can get uh, straight to learning at very little time at all. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's important uh, point you just mentioned in the past. NetSim has been a Windows desktop application and that presented a bit of a challenge for our friends that use Mac OS and, and Linux. They would have to run a virtual machine and source an instance of Windows and then install the product within that. But now we're freed from that constraint and any platform that has a modern web browser available and internet connectivity, you can use NetSim and that even now includes uh, mobile devices. That's correct. Um, you know, if you have a computer, you know, laptop, tablet, uh, any of those, whether it's running Android or, or OS X, uh, just open a web browser and you can get right to us and it's, it's uh, very, very low uh, resources and up and up and studying very quickly. Absolutely. And uh, we're getting ready to get into a uh, hands on demo of the NetSim product. And I would just reiterate to everybody that's watching this that anyone can go to our website and set up a, a bosun.com online account. And then from there, you can uh, use the NetSim product uh, in, in demo mode. And there are three labs that, uh, that come with NetSim in demo mode. And then when you make the purchase or uh, later when you choose to make a purchase, uh, you'll be able to access additional technology and content based on the version you purchase. So Andrew, why don't we, uh, why don't we launch a live demo and get NetSim up on the screen and take a look at, uh, at how this product works. Absolutely. All right. 
Well, currently I have the uh, first lab uh, loaded, which is the configuration demo lab one. And before I get started with that, I want to you know point it out over here in the lab tree and also point out uh, the lab tree in NetSim. Uh, like I, we mentioned, we have uh, labs covering CCNA, Encore, and NRC. And we have quite a few labs just for CCNA alone. We have well over 100 labs here. And those are broken down into the exam you know, sections, just like on the uh, official you know, course curriculum. Here we have the uh, Encore, the labs covering the Encore product. And finally, labs covering an RC. And when you log into netsim.boson.com, uh, if you don't have any purchases, if you're just going to demo out our product, you will only see this first section, which is our three demo labs. Right. Once you make a purchase, the rest of these open up. And within this uh, demo configuration, demo one, or any of these other two, you can try out everything that the software has to offer with the one uh, restriction is that the only commands that will be available to you are the commands that are necessary to complete these labs. Once you uh, unlock the other products, then you get the uh, much larger command database. Right. So here I have the first lab loaded. And when you load a lab, the first thing that you'll see is the lab topology diagram. Uh, each one of our labs has a objective section section that uh, just gives you an overview of what you'll complete in the lab. It also has a lab topology diagram as well as a description of that topology. Mm -hmm. There is a command summary table with each of the commands that you know are, are going to be relevant for the current lab. A description of the commands. There's an IP address table uh, for each router, switch, uh, host device. And the majority of the lab is broken down between a lab tasks section and a lab solutions section. In the lab tasks, you'll get uh, straightforward instructions such as enable the fast ethernet zero slash zero interface. So in this lab, everything is configured already except router A. So that's the challenge for this lab is to configure router A so it'll move traffic from one network right. to the other. And the lab solutions section, it's pretty much a restate uh, of the lab tasks, except you also get sample output of each command that you should enter. And then finally, there is a sample configuration script that you can refer to. So mm -hmm. We have one here for A because you'll be configuring router A. In addition to the lab document, there is a interactive lab topology diagram. There's a table that lists all the physical connections over here, as well as a list of devices. Now you can launch the console for these devices. Now here I have router A console open by clicking these icons, uh, either to open in a new tab, a web browser tab, or to open uh, as a new tabbed item within this page. If you wanna launch the lab document or the lab topology into a new browser tab, you can come up here and click one of these uh, links. Good for using and, with multiple monitors. Yep, absolutely. Um, it will open in a new tab and you can drag that tab to another monitor or drag it to the right side, you know, dock it on the right, uh, dock the console on the left, um, pretty much however you prefer study. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to have uh, router A up for the duration of this, and I'll go ahead and get started with the, uh, the demo. So. The first thing that we're required to do is to configure uh, a host name on router A. So I've done that here. After that, we're asked to configure an IP address for the serial zero slash zero interface. Operates, we'll enable the interface. Finally, we'll verify our work. We have an IP address set up, mm -hmm. line of protocol status is up, and we'll issue a ping to the device that's on the other side of this point-to-point -point link. Right. 
And I see that 252 or 30 bit mask because we only need the two endpoints to that link, right? It's not a broadcast network. That's correct. Something else to note is that, you know, uh, with NetSim, just like on real uh, iOS, you can do things like uh, have autocomplete uh, to issue commands. You can also do uh, the question mark to see mm -hmm. the help context. NetSim supports all those shortcuts. Uh, so that was task one. I'll go ahead and jump to task two. Just to configure the fast Ethernet zero slash zero network. And that connects router A to the LAN side of its network. Yeah, yeah right there. Yep. Provides IP configuration on this side over here. I use the do shortcut here. I can see that I've got that configured. Yep. Up, 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 up. All up. Now, one thing that we don't have, we'll get into task three now, is routing between the two different networks. Yep. So yep. right over, over here is 192.168.100 slash 24. And over here is the 192.168.200 network. So router A doesn't, doesn't know about that 200 network over on the other side. Right. If we try to ping device over there, that ping will fail. Mm -hmm. So uh, a couple of different solutions. We could do uh, static routing. We could configure a routing protocol such as OSPF or EIGRP. In this particular lab, we're told we should configure EIGRP. So I'm going to give that the Thomas system it tells us. We can see that there's a new neighbor adjacency mm -hmm. now that I've got that configured. So we can display that. Good. And after it converges, we'll have our EIGRP route. So we can see that we now have connectivity right. with the other side. So we issue that ping from before that failed. We'll issue that again here. And this time it succeeds where uh, right. before it fails. Right. Yeah, it knows how to find that 200 network now. That's correct. So at this point, it'd be good to show the gray lab feature in NetSim. Uh, NetSim will take a known good configuration, which is the expected running config, and compare that to yours. We see here that everything is green, indicating that I completed the lab successfully, but we already verified that with pings and show output. Let's go back for a moment and suppose that we broke something. Uh, let's remove EIGRP altogether. You see we lost that neighbor and we'll go up here and we'll grade that lab again. And as expected, it tells us yep. that we you know, failed this lab. And if we go and look, we'll see that the expected running configuration, we should have configured EIGRP and we don't have it here. Right. We know that we just removed it. So uh, the grade lab feature is a great tool that you can use to, uh, you know, if you get stuck in a lab and you can't figure out why something isn't working when it, uh, you think it should be, you can grade the lab and you'll get that uh, instant feedback. Right. Very useful, particularly in some of the more complex labs with many more devices. That's great. And finally, um, you'll notice a green check mark over here in the lab tree, and that's because we uh, have completed this lab successfully. Mm -hmm. So you'll see a few more of these that I uh, have that are already in progress that I've completed successfully. Right. If I attempted progress. a lab and it uh, had failure, you'd see a red X over here. Right. But, uh, your progress in that sim is tracked in the lab tree, and uh, makes it really easy to complete one lab and then move on to the next. So green check mark is completed, obviously. The uh, the other icon there is a lab in progress and a, a red X, if there were any, would be a, a lab that was not successfully completed, right? That's correct. That completes the demo, John. Very good. Well, Andrew, thanks so much for the demo. Really appreciate that. And uh, thanks to all of our viewers for taking time to watch the video with us here. 
And please engage with us in the comments below. If you have questions about NetSim or any of our products, uh, always feel free to uh, drop into the comments and we'll engage with you. And uh, if you are a future customer or already a customer, uh, you call us up and, and more than likely you'll find somebody on the telephone answering your call personally, or you'll get a very quick call back. So uh, we are uh, very much in tune with supporting our products and helping our customers achieve their learning and certification goals. So thank you all for viewing. Andrew, thank you again. And we'll see everyone on the next video. Thank you. Thank you.